Hey, Facebook world. This is Iron Will Becker, and I'm coming back to you with another book review. Um, this is called Leadership and Liberty by um, Chris Brady and Orrin Woodward. And they have written a bunch of different books on leadership and on liberty. They are ranked by Inc. Magazine, which is one of the preeminent um, magazines for entrepreneurship, leadership, and, uh, hey Larry, other such topics. Uh, Mr. Woodward is ranked as number 20 by that uh, organization in their top 50 leaders of all time. That includes people that have died uh, and are still living. Uh, Mr. Brady is ranked at number 39, and he is the only person on that list who has been mentored to that list by someone else on it. Um, this book is a compilation of essays and um, thoughts and discussions that they have put together um, over the, the early years of their partnership in business. Um, this is probably one of my most um, marked up book. I've got a bunch of um, a bunch of different quotes that I have um, marked in it that I am going to be pulling out to use in my social media. So you'll see those uh, graphics come up uh, over time. Uh, there's really just too much to really cover the topics um, because the, the, every section is a uh, it's got multiple um, multiple uh, articles in it. Uh, we're looking at probably uh, maybe a dozen about for each one. They've got a section on attitude and success, a section on people skills and principles, a section on leadership principles, on historical leadership illustrations, um, stories of different events that have happened, uh, the history of liberty, and how we've got kind of how we've gotten to where we are. Uh, there's some on economics, and there's one on politics and governance. Um, and then they include at the back of the book a list of books they recommend. Um, and this is probably... Uh, this is probably somewhere in the ballpark of about 70 books or so. Um... And I'm not even going to go through that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take three quotes out of it that I really like. Uh, the first one is, is leaders and would-be leaders alike must be hungry for learning. The result should be ha habitual, ongoing, aggressive self-education. It's got to be something that, um, that you pursue with purpose. You've got to be committed to it. You've got to spend the time on it. You've got to be willing to... Um, give up other things to pursue that, and I um in our mentoring calls on Saturday mornings, uh, when I get to listen to them and other leaders talk about the books that we're studying, um, you can really see this in um, in the them in, in Mr. Uh, Woodward, and Mr. Brady, as well as the leaders that are working with them. They have a desire to understand these the principles of leadership, the uh, the importance of helping people realize, uh, even Greg, realize their own goals and ambitions, and help them become better people so that they can achieve those things. Um, the the next quote that I'm taking out is here is a. Uh, we must once again teach the truth of freedom and develop an understanding of its principles. And it's been interesting as my sons have gotten older and they've taken different courses in, in school um, to talk with them about the things they're being taught. Uh, and as they express things that are not correct about um, our nation's history or world events, um, we 
try to encourage them to not only read up on the subject themselves, but also um, teach them where they can find some of those good materials, some of those books and things that um, will help them get a broader view of um, history and not just what's being um, shown to them in class. Uh, we've got one son who's a huge, huge um, history enthusiast and has, I, I don't know, maybe a dozen, two dozen books uh, on history. Um, and he has a, a collection of uh, books on World War II and some of the different combat things and the history of, of that those actions. Um, and the other one, he's still kind of a, a little bit interested but he he enjoys fun reading a little more. Um, but we like to teach them and take them out and show them um, American history and talk about the things that happened. Um, thanks, Larry. I appreciate that. So the last quote I'm going to take out of this book is, um, The art of finishing is what separates the truly great leaders from the rest. And um, that that can be a touchy subject for some people. Um, because we, we like to think of ourselves, hey Michael, um, as leaders, and we may be asked to, to lead in certain groups or certain organizations, but a leader is the one that not only takes initiative without always having um, organizational authority and works on the task or the project that they've been asked to help with. Um, they're not forcing people to do things, but they keep inviting people. They keep reaching out and, and um, building the relationships so that the project can move forward and finish. Um, and that can, be, that can be in your personal life. Uh, I know that uh, um, one of the things that Mr. Woodward and Mr. Brady say on a regular basis is, is that you have to be able to lead yourself before you can lead others. And really help yourself um, commit to yourself and make the, take the steps to grow as a person, so that then, as uh, Stephen Covey talks about, you're, you can expand your circle of influence and help brighten other people's lives and bring truth to them and help them see um, that life can be much more um, can be much more rich, enriching. Um, you're right, Larry. A good leader is a good follower. And a lot of the times, those good followers do turn into good leaders because they see the good example and they see and they recognize that the leader that they're following builds up the shoulders of the giants that they stand on. They recognize the leadership that um, they've been blessed by, whether it's through uh, reading or actual mentorship in person. Um, because those are two great ways to really get a lot of mileage uh, experience-wise. And then take that and share that and turn it around um, with others. So that is my book review, Leadership and Liberty, by uh, Chris Brady and Owen Woodward. Um, have any comments or questions, go ahead and drop them below. Uh, if you like this, you can find my, you can go to ironwill.net slash CS, my website there. Um, a couple things. Uh, my social media is on the right. Well, if you're looking at me, it'd be on the right hand side. Anyway, it's on the right hand side of the page, and there you can find links to all my social media, including my YouTube uh, channel, which has a, a bunch of videos over there that talks about principles and leadership, um, and some other things along like that. And then the most important link on the entire page is the self education page. It's up on the left hand corner. And it says self-education. Just hit that, and it'll take you to a list of over 80, maybe it's over 90 books now on that I recommend on leadership and personal development. Um, and, and some of them are like this, and some of them are novels. Uh, it's Some of them are historical. So it's just a, a mix of different things that have impacted my thinking about leadership and about personal development. So my friends, if you... um, Thanks, Larry. I appreciate that. Uh, if you get value from this video, please like and share it. You can also join my group, The Tigers Club, where I post inspirational quotes uh, over there on a regular basis. 
um, from all sorts of giants that I have learned from. Thanks again for spending time with me. I hope you guys go out and make it a great night, and you guys go out and make it a great week.